Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install OpenSense on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is OpenSense? So simply OpenSense as you can see here from Wikipedia is an open source free BSD based firewall and routing software okay and actually it's a fork of very famous also open source firewall and routing software called pfSense okay so if you want to get some history of it you can go to Wikipedia and just type open sense okay but our objective here is to install it on Proxmox, okay? So first thing first, you type OpenSense in order to get the official website and you go directly to the download section in order to download the ISO. So I will go here to download and of course I will choose the architecture I will be using here, of course it's MAD64 and for the boot all I have to do is to choose actually not VGA but uh, DVD okay then you download your copy of OpenSense so as you can see here it's a zipped file so you have to wait for it it's around 444 megabytes okay so once it's downloaded all you have to do is to unzip it and to upload it to your storage on Proxmox, okay? So here we go, our OpenSense zip is downloaded, so let's extract it. And now all we have to do is to upload it to our storage on Proxmox, okay? So let's go to Proxmox in order to actually upload this file here, OpenSense 24.1 into our storage, okay? Of course, after finishing the uncompressed operation. So let's go now to our OpenSense or actually Proxmox. So here it is and we are going to the storage where I want to upload actually the ISO image. So I will click on the, my Proxmox storage here and I will go here to ISO images. Okay. And here all I have to do is to click on this button here upload. Okay. And of course I have to select the file so my file is located on the download folder okay so here it is open sense so I will open it so you can see now the file size is around 1.85 gigabytes okay and let's upload it and wait for the upload to be actually finished Okay. So as you can see now in the output the window the task is ok and the file has been imported successfully ok so let's get rid of this uh, window and let's verify that indeed our open sense as you can see here has been uploaded to our storage so now we have everything in order to begin the process of installing it on Proxmox okay so let's create a VM simple as that so of course it will give me the default VM ID which is in this case 143 okay it doesn't matter for this VM I will give it a name of course open sense just to be consistent and we will go next okay and here of course you have to choose the ISO image of course after choosing the storage where you have uploaded your ISO okay 
So let's click on this ISO image and here choose our open cells that we have just uploaded. Here it is and I will keep with the default and I will go next. For the system I will also keep the default so no, I don't need to change anything here so I will go next. Here you can of course change the disk size if you want you can keep it as 32 gigabytes or something fewer so I will just choose for example 24 I guess that's enough for me for the cache if you have SSD it's better to choose right actually back and the discard option okay and I will go also next for the cores I will just choose two but for the type I will also choose host okay total course I guess uh, one is enough but you can leave it as two if you want so I will go next for the memory two gigabytes are far enough for our router Okay, so I will keep with the default, I will go next and this is the most important step here so as you may know as a firewall or router it needs at least two interfaces I will show you how so if I go for example here you can see a little diagram of my uh, home lab so for any firewall or router it needs at least two interfaces one interfaces which is wide area network facing the internet and one LAN interfaces or interface facing your local network okay so that's why our actually VM here needs at least two interfaces sometimes we need more for example we can add another third one called TMZ if you want to put your servers on it for exposing them to the internet okay but at least you need two interfaces one interface and lane interface so keep that in mind so I'll keep with this diagram so I'll create here two interfaces one and lane interfaces okay so let's return back to our uh, Proxmox so this is actually our one interface so here all I have to do is to change this bridge because I will keep with the default one which is the MPR0 so this is the default one that you get when you install Proxmox okay, actually okay and for the second interface we will choose another one okay for the second interface I will choose actually a virtual network that I have created as as if you see on my previous video I created a virtual LAN using an option new option on Proxmox called software defined network so if you don't know how to make that you can return back to my previous video to show how to create as many virtual net as you want okay so here I will choose the default one here as one interface so I will go next and I have here everything I need so don't check this box start after create it because we'll be creating another interface actually network interface so let's get finished here and our VM with the VM ID 143 as you can see here is being created okay so here it is so I'll click on it and in order to create the second interface which will be our LAN interface I will go to hardware here so as you can see I have here only uh, one interface called net0 okay and I will add another one network in device actually and this device will be actually attached to this vnet01 which is our virtual network that we have created using software defined network okay so this is our second interface so I will add it just like that 
okay and if you want to see the software defined network you can actually go to your data center and here it is you see is the end software defined network we have created actually zones and after that we have created vnet and this is our vnet that we have created it has a subnet mask 10.1.0.0 okay and also it has DHCP on it from 10.1.0.10 to 10.1.0.20 okay and in the IPAM section you can see that it has been affected to two VMs 142 which is our previous VM that we have created in order to demonstrate uh, our SDN and this is our OpenSense so our OpenSense will get this IP address 10.1.0.11 okay so keep that in mind so software defined network is a very interesting feature that actually makes you more flexible in terms of creating virtual networks if you want to test something like actually firewall here okay so let's return back to our open sense here in order to continue the process so this is our open sense so now we have everything all we have to do is to actually start our OpenSense VM so let's start it so you can just start it from whatever you want you can just right click on it and hit start or just start here in this button so I will launch it from here and I will go to the console to see what's going on so now as you can see our open sense is boot in I can get rid of this images here so you can see the full process So here, as, as you read here in this welcome message, OpenSense is running in live mode from install media. Please log in as root to continue in live mode or as installer to start the installation. So here we want to install, so I'll type installer. Here we go. And for the password, it's open sense okay so now we are inside open sense installer so here the system console driver for open sense default to standard us keyboard so i'll continue with that so here choose one of the following tasks to perform so i will install ufs please select the a disk to continue so of course here I have to choose the disk where I have actually installed OpenSense which is here as you can see 24 gigabytes okay so I'll keep yes so the cloning process has begun now in order to install actually OpenSense on the, the disk so here as you can see it's clearly based on FreeBSD because this is the same installer if you want to install actually FreeBSD on any other machine and this is the setup for OpenSense system is actually complete so you can choose the root password you can change it if you want or complete install and, and exit okay
So here you can see the uh, after the VM has been restarted. You get the prompt for the different uh, steps. So here as you can see you can reach your VA your open sense from the lane or the one interface if you want. But here actually we have affected the one to the JCP which with, with this uh, address here 10.1.0.11 okay and for our lane it's 192.168.1.1 okay so of course you can change that after you log in to your uh, actually uh, open sense from the web from the GUI you can change that you can turn the LAN to one or one to lane if you want okay so let's do that and give you some hints if you want to do that so let's actually see the web interface of OpenSense here, okay? So let's open our browser here and I will go directly to the 192.1.1 So of course here the connection is not private so I will go to advanced and I will proceed and here it is, you can see here that I can reach OpenSense, so let's enter the credential for the root with OpenSense as default password, okay? So this is our OpenSense ready to actually work with it, okay? So you can of course go directly to the interfaces here and here you can have your WAN interface, you can change it, you can change its uh, configuration. So here it's configured RDSCP, but, but you can change it to, for example, static IP address or something like that. And also for the LAN, you can do the same, you can change it whatever corresponding to your needs, actually. Okay. And of course here you can add users, group, servers, and a lot of configuration here. You can see the health of your uh, OpenSense and also the input, output and everything actually can be configured using this web interface. But in this video I want just to show you how to install it on OpenSense and to get the basic thing in order to work with it okay so that was just a quick video to show you how to install this pretty nice and interesting uh, firewall and routing software called OpenSense as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye